the sun goes down. What's up? It's Prospect. I'm Pinnacle. And we're going to show you how we made our track Zombie Nightclub. So the first thing that we do when we uh, start a track is uh, lay down the drums. It's important to get um, your drum mix bang on. Uh, this is the kit that we've been using a lot recently. Um, it's nice and punchy, got a nice low end on it. Uh, sounds like this. We layered it also with a Vengeance Trance Kick. Um, play the kick on its own without the low cut on it. So yeah, that sounds a bit rubbish, but uh, put a low cut on it, uh, just make it sound like that. Um, which obviously doesn't sound that good on its own, but um, when layered up with the other kit, really yeah. makes it pop. Right, so, so for our hats, um, we've used two hats for, the, for this track, um, both out of the Vengeance uh, Electroshock 2 pack, which is a really nice pack. Um, um, yeah, the first hat we used is a bit more of a jacking one, bit of sort of a, like a kind of mid-range, sort of slightly lower hitting hat, and then the uh, the other one is um, like a super, super sort of high-end one, but um, we yeah. should play the So this one. is the more jacking one. Which sounds cool, like I mean, you could use that on, on its own, but um, layered up with this other one, uh, just really, really makes it much better, so. Right, for our claps, um, we used three, layered on top of the cover, um, Again, from the Vengeance Electro Shot 2 pack. Um, if you notice them when you play them, they're all they're all kind of very different sort of in sound. Like play yeah. that one, a bit sort of washy, quite wide. This one, the nice and, nice and tight and punchy. Yeah. This one, do you know what I mean? Got a bit more character to it. Yeah. So yeah, definitely. Like, but all together makes a really good, really good clap sound. Yeah. Uh, obviously got EQ and compression on it as well. So. Yeah, we uh, basically we bust them to um, the snare group, <laughs> which is here. Um, um, we compress them together. Um, like you could compress them separately, but I find um, as we kind of want it, them all to work as one coherent um, snare uh, or clap, then um, busting them together and uh, compressing them just kind of helps them gel together. So. Definitely, yeah. If you take if you take the compression off, for example, um, and then on, it sounds a bit fuller, sort of gel together a bit better. A bit more aggressive, which I think, especially for this kind of track, and Definitely. well, any hardcore track really, having having your sounds, you know. A lot of aggression, very important. Mm -hmm. uh, we added some um, Sony Maximizer, just a tiny bit on the low end, oh, sorry, on the high end. On the high end, <laughs> yeah. Um, with this plug-in, like it's really good, but uh, you've got to be very careful with it. Like, um, sort of the, the, the higher you, the higher you, the, the more high end you add to it, then uh, the sort of the thinner it sounds. So, um, like, uh, do you want to just turn yeah. it up and just? See, initially it might sound, you know, sort of nice and bright, and you might think it sounds good, but it's sort of the dust in it out. Yeah, it does thin it out. So I mean, really, like, where, where do we put it? Just back to right there. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah, it just, just adds a little bit. But yeah, if you are going to use Sonic Maximum, just just be careful yeah. with it. But um, I mean, it, you know, with it with it on, it definitely helps. Uh, you know, the claps cut through the mix. So yeah. yeah. And finally, yeah, we used a stereo enhancer as well, just to give it a bit more width. Just gets gets your claps out there, and it? it just helps make extra space in the mix. Definitely. So and it sounds better than panning as well. I I personally mm. think so. Once we got all the standard drums, like kick drum, clap, hi hat, etc., uh, it's nice to get like a like a, a like a loop in there that's just got a bit more bit more character to it. So for this one, we've chosen yeah, just bit add, sort of adds to the rhythm. Like we've got um sort of, sort of bongo one, just kind of. Yeah. Just sounds really cool, and so it just kind of like adds a bit of character to your mix and make you know makes your drum mix sound different. Got another loop as well. Yeah, I mean you've got your main hi hats doing the off beats, but that just just. Adds to it, so yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, pretty standard processing on those as well, just like light compression and um, yeah. EQ as well. So we've actually sidechained both of these oh, yeah. loops. Um, what we do is, yeah, basically just sidechain it with the uh, the kick and have like a basically instant attack, instant release. Can you kind of hear how that just? Uh, you can kind of nod your head to it, like without it, it's like all right, cool. But with it, it's a bit more yeah. pumpy. Zombies. So the, the bass line in the drop's made out of three different bass lines. Uh, the first one, um, that's uh, made on Massive. So let's have a, have a look at that. 
Um, so yes, two two um, two oscillators. One of them, the modern talking waveforms from there. A uh, very popular waveform uh, used in other, other genres and that. And then uh, just a square wave, but that's set from the uh, spectrum, which is the default to the format, um, which just uh, allows you. To, I don't know, just gives it a nice, nice kind of. Just, yeah, just a different sound, do you know what I mean? Um, and what we've done here, we've set uh, put an envelope on the. Um, on, um, on, on the wavetable position of the modern talking and the intensity of the format there. Uh, so that just gives it that. Do you know what I mean? So that sounds pretty cool. Because it's gives us a bit more than that. Uh, yeah, I mean, um, the MIDI's pretty simple. You've got to set that to a pitch bend there. So to do that, just go oscillator and then uh, set five and four, apparently. <laughs> Right, so that's the second bass that we used. Um, it's a sample, a bass shot out of the Vengeance Electroshock 2 pack, uh, put through contact. Uh, we added a low pass filter, um, this kind of scream effect, and also this uh, stereo spreader as well. Just give it a bit of width. Um, it's, it's uh, nice yeah, to definitely. Know. I think uh, for this track, using that stereo spreader it works really well because um, it, it like the other two bass lines haven't got the stereo spreader on it and then this one proper wide and just kind of yeah. I don't know each bass line's in its own space in the mix which like it's, it's just interesting to listen to and uh, sounds pretty cool um, we've got a bit of crush on it um... see it adds a lot of brightness to it um, which is nice and also um, loving this plugin at the moment uh, for bass sounds. Uh, the PSP Mix Saturate 2 just gives it a lot of nice um, low end sounds. It sounds very warm um, without it. Yeah, it's quite subtle, uh, we've only got it on like um, 10%. So, yeah, that's the, uh, the fine third and final bass line. Um, that's just a, just a massive, again. Um, is that it, so? Yeah, just a massive again with uh, LFO set to the wavetable position on the, um, the AI uh, waveform there. Um, yeah, pretty simple. That's, I mean, that's the ratio there. You can kind of see 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 for yourself there. Um, that's just the, just the one one oscillator. Yeah, yeah very simple. Like. Believe it or not, zombies. Second 16, 16 bars of the drop, um, we duplicated the first massive channel um, and made some changes. We put a macro control on the first envelope uh, on the decay and uh, the level which is uh, sustain. Um, yeah, and obviously this first envelope is um, rooted to the intensity uh, and the weight position of the first two mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, basically what, uh, what these macros do. If I turn it off, um, and that's kind of how the first bass line sounds, um, and then second 16, just makes it more intense. Uh, the reason we use a macro is just so it, it groups, it's just a bit, just a workflow thing really, like a, um, it, rather than automating both of those, just automate, automate the macro and then, just a bit easier. Uh, we've also added in an extra, um, extra oscillator, which is a screamer waveform. That's how it sounds, with that on. So yeah, basically, uh, the same same processes on it as the uh, first baseline. Just uh, just sort of makes it more intense sounding. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so for the breakdown, obviously we got uh, that film sample, which is a uh, like a trailer for a like a B movie zombie film kind of thing. In this small Nebraska town, a secret government project has gotten out of control. Also in the breakdown, we used um, a few. Um, audio samples from um, this uh, pack called Hollywood Edge. Let's fill it out there, we've got some couple of pads, um, you know, like um, some zombie breaths. Uh, like a sort of atmosphere pad. Yeah, we've got a couple of like roars as well, yeah. growls. A bit of reverb there as well, but obviously yeah, it's just pretty standard definitely. really. And then yeah, just basically um, a sub as well, sort of to sort of go underneath everything. Kept That's, it pretty moody as well, didn't we? Yeah, it's just basically um, just basically a, a pass wave, low pass filter, and massive. To get our tracks like, nice and loud, to stand up to the, all the other tracks that are out there, we use a um, mastering tool called T Rex. Um, yep, yeah, sure you all heard of it. It's quite well known, widely used. Um, 
it's just a very basic DJ master, not much going on. Um, minimal compression and limiting and just literally just sort of turned the level up so um, yeah we haven't really done any EQ because um, yeah I'd say it's very important to get things sounding right before you go to the mastering stage like I, you know if you, for example if, you, if you're if you using T-Rex or whatever mastering software and like you, you, you find that oh it sounds actually quite good with a little boost on the high end or whatever then you really need to go back to your mix and, and, and try and sort out why it's not bright enough in the mix like turn your hi-hats up or boost your leads or whatever you need to do to make it sound right so you don't need to EQ at the mastering stage. Right, well thanks for watching this video, I hope you learned a thing or two, um, we both do studio time so if you're interested Yeah, the... uh, contact details are in the uh, description box. Um, so yeah, this uh, Zombie Nightclub's forthcoming on Lethal Fury Records, uh, so hold tight for that. Alright, safe guys and catch you next time.